Alrighty, good morning. My name is Casey Romero. Um, I'm a member here at Hope Chapel. I'm involved in the men's ministry. Today I have a couple scriptures I'd like to share with you. I hope that they encourage you and in this stressful time they help us uh, hold on to our peace. And uh, I don't know anybody personally who has a coronavirus, but it, myself and everybody I know uh, are feeling the effects of, of this virus, whether it's um, whether we're feeling it in our pocketbooks, uh, in lack of work, um, being stuck at the house with the kids, and not sure when all this is going to be lifted. And so during these stressful times, um, we want to have peace. And one of the biggest um, one of the biggest things about stress is it takes your peace. But when your peace is strong and when you're holding on to it, it keeps stress from affecting you. And so I have a couple scriptures here I'd like to share with you. And hopefully whatever you're facing during this time, it'll give you the strength uh, to hold your peace and to ride this thing out. And so my first scripture is found in John 14, 27. And Jesus says this, he says, peace I leave with you, my peace I give you. I don't give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled. Do not be afraid. And what Jesus is saying to us is those who believe in him, he's given us a peace. He's given us a peace that the world can't give. He's given us a peace that we can't find in the world. And that this peace is a peace that's on the inside. And that this peace brings calmness, stillness, and rest to your hearts and minds. Um, and so Jesus, um, he demonstrates this peace to us. And if you turn to Mark 4, 35, and that's uh, Mark 4, 35 to 41, Jesus models this peace and what it looks like. And so if you'll turn there, and it goes like this. That day, uh, when evening came, he said to his disciples, let us go over to the other side. Leaving the crowd behind, they took him along just as he was in the boat. There was also other boats with him. A furious squaw came up and the waves broke over the boat <clears throat> so that it was nearly swamped. Jesus was in the stern sleeping on a cushion. The disciples woke him and said to him, teacher, don't you care if we drown? He got up, rebuked the wind and said to the waves, quiet be still. Then the wind died down and it was completely calm. He said to his disciples, why are you so afraid? Do you still have no faith? The disciples, they were terrified and asked each other, who is this? Even the winds and the waves obey him. And so Jesus in the scripture models what Christian peace should look like. He models it perfectly. While everything was chaotic around him, Jesus was at rest. And that's the epitome of what Christian peace should look like. While everything around us is in chaos and panic, it's not affecting us on the inside where we have rest. And I don't know whether Jesus was exhausted from the day before or whatever it was, but he wasn't affected by, what, by the panic of his disciples. And he wasn't affected by the storm that was around him. And the reason why he held on to his peace is because he knew who was on the boat with him. He knew that the Father was with him. He knew that the Holy Spirit was with him. And the reason why he knew them and knew that they were bigger than the storm is because he spent time in relationship with him. And he modeled that to us as believers that um, for us to have a relationship and know him and know that he's trustworthy. Uh, the disciples, on the other hand, they panicked and they didn't, they knew, but they didn't realize who was on the boat with them. And that's a picture of us. Jesus is with us, but we don't have that realization of how much bigger he is than the storm that we're going through. And so many of us look to him for a quick fix and that's okay. There's nothing wrong with that. Um, there's times in life where you need a quick fix. Something happens and you're in a panic. You need a quick fix. That's okay. God loves us. 
But if all your relationship with him is just get him fixing your problems, we're going to miss out on knowing him. And when we don't know him, we're not going to be able to realize how trustworthy he is. And when these storms come like they do, we're not going to be able to have that peace that he's given us. And when we have that peace that he's given us, it gives us the ability to know what to do in these situations. Whether it, this is a situation where we need to write it out, or if it's a situation that we need to go speak to the storm, the winds and the waves, and rebuke it, or do both. But either way, he says, you know, he's left us with the peace that surpasses all understanding. And so I just want to encourage you um, in this time while everything's at a standstill, use this time to get to know him. Get to know who he is and how he wants you to operate in this situation. And so I just hope that this message is going to bless you and encourage you and um, keep your cool during this time. In Jesus' name, thank you.